Okay, if you've ever taken a forensic science class, you've probably heard of Lacard's exchange principle. This is a key kind of component of the forensic science and what forensic scientists do. So I figured I should include the quote from the professor himself. Uh, Lacard's exchange principle states that wherever he steps, wherever he touches, wherever he leaves, he unconsciously will serve as a salient witness against him. Not only his fingerprints or his footprints, but his hair, the fibers from his clothes, the glass that he breaks, the tool mark he leaves, the paint that he scratches, the blood or semen he deposits or collects. All of these and more bear mute witness against him. This is evidence that does not forget. This is not confused by the excitement of the moment. It is not absent because human witnesses are. It is factual evidence. Physical evidence cannot be wrong, it cannot be prejudice itself, it cannot be wholly absent, only human failure to find it, study and understand it, will dismiss its value. Professor Edwin Lacard. This is that key principle here for forensic scientists are always looking for that physical evidence uh, because it is unprejudiced. It is um, there, we just need to find it, and it could be in a variety of forms. So this kind of summarizes uh, a, the general summary of that would be whenever two objects come in contact with each other, traces of each are exchanged. Every contact leaves a trace, whether it's a small, whether it's something large, whether it's something very obvious. Uh, every contact will leave some sort of trace. This is why it's important when going and investigating a crime scene is not to have any of your own material, anything that you come in contact with as the scientist evaluating the scene, to have anything exchanged or kind of contaminate the crime scene. So this fact is that there is a salient witness that those investigating the crime scene need to find and interpret them correctly for the significance. So initially you might look at this and just see it's wood, some older wood, but we could see there's some footprints. So there might be um, also some fibers left behind. There could be some fingerprints. Uh, there could be potential blood splatter. There's a whole different um, assortment of things we want to consider and not dismiss um, as scientists. So every contact leaves a trace. This applies to both the people involved in the crime scene originally and also, as I said, the investigators. As an investigator, you want to limit your traces left. You want to go into scene un undisturbed and be able to collect the evidence without kind of adding any of your own. Um, having things prepared ahead of time and knowing what to look for, having an idea what to look for can be helpful. So finding the trace. Uh, it's not as easy as in your face per se uh, type of evidence and may be limited to investigators abilities and or access to equipment or technology. So you might see just kind of this blank uh, blackboard here. Well, if you dust it, you could find fingerprints um, or, you know, trace elements with fiber. Um, so there's a lot of things uh, and trace elements is very key and important. So it's being mindful of what to look for uh, and knowing um, how to look for it how to find it, and how to eliminate any potential contact uh, that you're adding. Because remember, every contact leaves a trace, so it's your, uh, your ability, and hopefully you can find that in a crime scene, and that can really be a very important part of the diagnosis and evaluation of that crime scene.